I need a power bank, but I don't want yet another electronic that I have to keep track of and charge. So why not use a platform I already have? In today's video, we'll be making an adapter that turns this drill battery into a power bank. Now, full disclaimer, Rigid does already sell something like this, but why buy when you can build? And this project started where all great things do, CAD. After some light design work and 3D printing, we're left with these four pieces that are going to make up the housing of the adapter. But first, I'm going to take this sheet of copper and cut two strips from it. We're then going to want to bend these pieces to fit into our connector piece and cut them down to length. Like this. And taking a drill, we can poke a hole through the bend. And then take some 18 gauge cable and fish a wire through the hole, soldering it in place. With both leads done, we can then push them into place into the connector piece. It is a snug fit, but by design as we don't want them to move. Now using two small screwdrivers, we can bend a bump into the end of the leads, ensuring they'll make solid contact with the battery. Just like this. It may not look pretty, but it should work out pretty well. And with that, we can push in this little eye bar to lock it down. We can then feed the wires through the hole in the sled, snap the two parts together, and screw them down. Now here I have an 18 volt to 5 volt USB step down. So I'm going to cut down our negative wire and solder it onto the board. I'll then take this switch I have and solder that in between our positive wire and the board. And this way we can turn it on and off. We can then take our last piece, the cap, snap our switch and board into it, and then screw that down as well. And with that, our adapter is done, so let's test it. It slides onto the battery nicely, and you can hear it lock in place. Let's plug in my phone and see if it charges. The phone's plugged in, and if I flip the switch, we get power. I really like this board we used. It seems very well built, and it charges my phone just as fast, if not faster, than my wall charger. And the board has a built-in LED, so if we turn off the lights, you can see it glow through the plastic when it's on, which I think is pretty cool. And from what I can see online, an average power bank is around 1 amp hour, and this is a 2 amp hour battery, so it should be slightly above average. But if you do want more power, swapping batteries is a breeze, or you could even just use a 4 amp hour one. Really, the only potential drawback that I can think of is if you want to take it on a plane, I'm not sure how airport security would react to it. However, they do already make you carry on your batteries, so maybe they wouldn't care. I don't know, you can try that at your own risk. But past that, it works great in just about any situation. But hey, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy this video. And if you did, feel free to hit the thumbs up and subscribe. But if you didn't, I hope your store-bought battery bank breaks! Thanks for watching and please feel free to subscribe.